Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's talk about how to make our life a little bit simpler when we need to hand close a little opening. For example, a pillow that needs to be turned right side out has this little opening that we need to hand stitch afterwards and sometimes it doesn't hand stitch the way we want it or maybe it's not as easy. Sometimes the piece is off and it will want to stick out a little bit or the seam will be a little crooked. So it'd be very nice to have a guideline so we know exactly where to put the stitching. Well it is very easy to do and you do it right at the beginning with an iron just when you're going to iron your piece to start off with and it's a technique that will not burn your fingers. So here's an example of what a little pillow would be like and you need to have this little opening here so that you can turn the fabric right side out. And while you have it at the iron, what you can do is press these seams onto themselves as if there was a stitching line there. And you can use a couple of things to press this down. If the seam is big enough, you might be able to just do it by hand. If not, you can get this little metal plate and it has a little curved edge to it and it has a straight edge to it and on the other side it has measurements so what you can do is place that along the seam and then take the iron and iron over top of that seam so the seam is coming down so let's say you don't have one of these what else can you use there are a couple of things you could use. Okay, a lot of people like to use cardstock, but I would advise against anything with a picture or printing on it because the ink and that shiny bit can come off on the fabric. So if you can use a inside where there's no writing, you can use that. Or you can just use cardstock. And what you will do is just take the cardstock and just as you did with the piece of metal, you will put it there so that you're able to iron that seam down. Then you can flip it over. Again, put the cardstock right along the seam and you will be able to press that again down. So now when you go to turn this right sides out, you have a little pressed line that you're going to be able to use. If you have a piece that opens up all the way, because perhaps this is going to be the lining of a jacket that you need to turn, and when you turn it this way to press the seams open, you can use two pieces of cardstock. So you would take both pieces of cardstock line them up against the seam and then when you are to press in this manner it continues that seam line and when you go to turn the item right side out it has that nice little iron mark and that's going to be your guide and you will be able to know exactly where to stitch to stitch this closed. And well, since you're already needing to iron that seam, you might as well iron it open. And it will definitely take the guesswork out of where that seam was supposed to be. Because now you'll know exactly where it was supposed to be. And you're going to be able to follow that stitching line. It's a very simple thing to do, but it does solve a lot of time. And it does give the finished edge a perfect look. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, Come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.